Welcome back to the Hurry Up Offense. Fantasy football news and advice for week 16. Wow, week 16 of the 2022 NFL fantasy football season. I am Smokey Ramirez, your fantasy football pro. Let's go. Man, I cannot believe it's already week 16, guys. Here we are. And if you're listening to this right now, you're probably in the playoffs, right? You're either entering the playoffs or entering the championship right now. Depending on your format in your league. Can't believe we have gotten this far. If you're not in your playoffs and you were still listening, then kudos to you because that's how you get better at fantasy football. There is fantasy football content that goes on all off season long, all the way through the winter, all the way through the spring, and all the way through the summer. You don't have to wait until the season starts to start taking in this content because there are fantasy football analysts all over the internet and, and even on TV, certain channels, you know, I'm sure you can find them on NFL Network or something, all the time that are breaking down numbers and trends and cycles and whatever else have you. News, obviously. Anyway, speaking of the news, let's get into the news. Down in Falcons camp, Cordero Patterson was given a rest day on Wednesday, a veteran's rest day, and he definitely is a veteran, that's for dang sure. I wouldn't worry too much about it uh, unless he's missing practices through the rest of the week. But the fact is Tyler Algier has came on as the number one running back in this system. And that will continue. With Caleb Huntley being out, he's probably going to get even more opportunities here. Uh, probably less for Cordero Patterson. So if you do have him, you, you need to be in a really deep league. Other than that, I wouldn't worry about Cordero but if you do need him, he should be fine this week. Lamar Jackson did not practice for the second straight day this week. And most likely he's going to miss. Therefore, backup Taylor Huntley. I'm sorry, Tyler Huntley. Is going to start in his place. Most likely, unless something changes for Jackson before the end of the week here. Um, I I'm not playing Tyler Huntley. That's too much of a risk at this point. Uh, I'm not, no, not taking that chance. Although, if you are in a deep league, I have to say this because a lot of people are playing in a really deep league, 15, 16, two quarterback leagues or whatever. If you're in a two quarterback league, you would have to be 12 people or over to even think about using Taylor Huntley. I keep saying Taylor. Tyler Huntley. It's not worth it, but if Lamar comes back, I'm definitely throwing Lamar out there. For some reason, Derrick Henry has popped up on the Titans practice report on Wednesday. Now, this is labeled as non-injury related designation. It is undisclosed, though, so we have no idea. You're going to have to keep an eye on this one because in the spot that the Titans are in this week, we know that Derrick Henry is most likely going to go off for a ton of yards. It is going to be scary if we don't know by the weekend what's going on with Derrick Henry. So you better keep an eye on that one. But on the wide receiver end of that, Traylon Burks has logged back-to-back -back practices. So it's looking like he's going to be coming back from that concussion this week. And it's good to see Traylon Burks is a fantasy superstar in the making. It's going to be good. I don't know that he's going to show out and win you any leagues this year. But in the right league, you can throw him into your lineup as soon as he gets back, which is looking like it's going to be this weekend. That'll be a good spot. But, however, I just thought about with Malik Willis out there, it's not going to be good. For a second there, I was in this La La Land where Tannehill was going to be playing again. And I would be really happy to play Traylon Burks in the right situation. I don't know with Malik. Malik doesn't throw. That's why we're so excited about Derrick Henry. Hmm. You know what? Don't play any Titans this week, unless Derrick Henry gets out there. Good news out of Jaguars camp. 
Trevor Lawrence is off the injury report. Now, he was on there with the toe situation that's going on, but it looks like he's doing much better now, and there is no risk of losing him. He does have kind of a tough matchup this week. Um, the Jets' defense is well, probably the third or fourth best in the league against opposing quarterbacks, but Lawrence is on a breakout season right now. He's doing really well, so... You're going to throw him out there unless you have a better option. And probably nothing better is on the waiver wire at this point with all the injuries we have. Bad weather games. Man, it's going to be a rough week. Ah, I don't expect there's a lot of quarterbacks that's going to just go off. There, there's no high team implied totals for this week. So you're probably not facing a ton of points this week either. So Trevor Lawrence should be okay to play it's it's just a tough week that's all there is to it if you see that Raheem Mostert did not practice down at the Dolphins camp don't worry too much about it it was a veterans rest day now he's coming off a huge week it was really good and he should continue this week so definitely plug Mostert into your lineup Zonovan Knight logs a full practice also after his ankle scare but it looks like he's going to be good to go against the Jaguars. Man, like I said, this is going to be a tough game with some bad weather. So you might see more running back work in this game. Might be great for Zonovan and Travis Etienne for that matter. So I think a lot of these games this week could have a lot of running back work considering weather and other factors and backup quarterbacks and third string quarterbacks and practice squad quarterbacks no tight ends no receiving options man it almost looks too dismal but running back might be the bright spot heading into this weekend so zonovan throw him out there colt mccoy was officially marked out for this week for the cardinals and trace mcsorley will get the start i want absolutely no part of that offense with Trace McSorley. Now, I guess if you have Hopkins, you kind of need to play him. If you have Connor, you kind of need to play him. You know, these guys are just too valuable to sit unless you have great options. You really wouldn't. I mean, both of these guys at some point maybe came off the waiver wire for your team. So maybe you do have other options. I'm just scared with Trace McSorley out there throwing the ball. I don't think Hopkins is going to get that much usable targets. And Connor, maybe maybe they'll do that. Maybe they'll just put the hands in Connor and let him run it all day. That would be great. I mean, at least one usable fantasy asset. I'm not using Trace McSorley, though, that's for sure. Man, you hate to see it. After that blown comeback by the Colts, now Matt Ryan has been benched. Once again, the second time this season, a healthy Matt Ryan has been benched. Now, Nick Foles will be starting. I guess they brought Nick Foles over at some point this season after the debacle earlier in the season with Frank Reich. Jeff Saturday said, well, I guess that's enough of the Ryan experiment. Kind of feel bad the arc that Matt Ryan has had at this point in his career. And he may be closing in on the end of that career. Which, you know, he's had a good run. He's had a good run. But um, Nick Foles is a blast from the past. If you, you know anything about Nick Foles, he won a Super Bowl. So the team could absolutely be firing with Nick Foles. But he's also had his bad moments too. It's kind of hit or miss. But if you're in a desperate situation, throw Nick Foles out there. I mean, he, it would have to be a deep league, like I always say. And a really desperate situation. But a lot of these teams are in desperate quarterback situations. So Nick Foles is about to get the start this week. Have fun with that one. Devin DuVernay is expected to miss two months. You're not playing him anymore. This says... Pat Fryermuth is showing good signs. He logged a full practice on Tuesday. Now, I'll tell you this. Pat Fryermuth is absolutely disappointing. At least this last week. He's had a decent run all season. He's been that mid-level guy as far as tight ends go. He's given you a solid floor. And then a big fat goose egg this past week. 
in a spot that he should have been very usable in. I guess he wasn't quite healthy even though they told us he was and they threw him out there on the field just to get absolutely nothing. Now I saw that he was out there for some plays. He got absolutely zero targets, therefore zero catches. Nothing. Goose egg your team. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit bitter about that. But now they're acting like, hey, it's all good this week, though. Throw him back out there. He's going to do it. I'm not buying it this time. I'm going to have to see a good week from Pat Fryermuth before I throw him back out there on my team. With that being said, Hayden Hurst is dealing with a calf injury. Man, tight end hell is just so bad and i'm kind of glad the season is getting over with no i love fantasy football i'm not glad the season is over but i do want to see the end of tight end hell and it's almost like we've been going through it for two to three years right there used to be a great uh, array of tight ends that we could use back in the day 2015 through 2019 or maybe even into 2020 maybe 2020 was what ruined it for tight ends we ended up getting this big three scenario where there were only three tight ends who actually were elite now we're down to one count them one tight end is elite and then there's everybody else way behind if you don't have travis kelsey you have nothing so with that being said hayden hurst you might need him but look for him on the injury report all that rant just to go right to the very next article fant noah fant is not practicing on tuesday <sighs> wow Wow. David Najoku, slowed down by a knee at practice. Dear Lord, what are we doing? Is there any tight end that is good to go outside of Travis Kelsey? Mark Andrews has been putting up abysmal numbers. Maybe that's just the way the NFL is headed these days. I don't know, guys. But, like I said last week, at least you can rest assured that your opponent outside of Travis Kelsey, doesn't have anything either. Chase Claypool, 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 easy for me to say, is also limited by a knee ahead of Week 16 versus the Bills. I do expect this offense to show up in this game. Well, with um, weather aside, you know, uh, that's going to be rough. But I do think this offense can get going here against the Bills. And it looks like Chase Claypool will be out there. If there are no further setbacks. Another report this week about Miko Hardeman probably suiting up and playing in week 16. Now last week I told you if he's out there, this is going to be good for Juju. Now it looks like he might actually be out there this week. And once again, I'm going to say it's probably good for Juju. And even Travis Kelsey like he needs any more help. But, yeah, I'm definitely playing Juju, especially with Miko Hardeman out on the field. Last but not least, Amari Cooper receives a rest day ahead of Week 16. Sounds like another veteran's rest day, and a lot of guys need that this time of season. We are headed to the end. I want you guys to go out and get you some fantasy championships. If you're listening to this, there's a good chance you are. If you are new to playoffs and championship games or whatever, I hope you took advantage of the waiver wire situation because people in championship games get priority on the waiver wire or just playoffs in general. If you're down to the final four, then those final four get the first crack at the waiver wire before anybody else in the league does. Remember that. If you didn't know that for this week, remember that for next week. That's how it works, and that's going to help you out going into your championship game if you're not already headed there. And if you do play Week 18 championship games, I'm going to do one of these just for you guys, but I will make the recommendation not to do it in the future. Get with your league. Try to change that for future seasons because it's not going to work out well. Everybody's going to be out. There's going to be no superstars playing in week 16 unless the team is horrible and they themselves in the real NFL 
in the real NFL playoff have absolutely missed it and have no chance. So there's that. Guys, I am Smokey Ramirez. Hey, if you want to hear Alex and I break down every single game, every single week, and predict the winners, that's the scoreboard. It's up there on the channel, probably right now as you're hearing this. I would assume it is up by now. I think both of these are coming out at the same time this week. That is week 16. I am Smokey Ramirez, your fantasy football pro. I'll see you next week. Doses.